The National Labor Relations Act aims to improve the power imbalance between employers and employees by guaranteeing employees the right to unionize and bargain collectively. The statute forbids employers from discriminating against employees in order to discourage union activity. Does this mean an employer can't close down to keep a union out of its business? That's the question in Textile Workers Union versus Darlington Manufacturing Company. Darlington Manufacturing Company operated a single textile mill. Deering Milliken, a textile marketer and distributor, owned Darlington. Roger Milliken, Darlington's president, also controlled Deering. Deering operated multiple other textile factories in addition to Darlington. Darlington's employees voted to join a union. In response, Darlington's shareholders voted at Milliken's instigation to liquidate the corporation. The union filed charges with the National Labor Relations Board, alleging that Darlington had violated the act by closing the mill. The board found that Darlington had closed the factory because of Milliken's animosity toward the union and agreed with the union that this violated the act. The board also found that Deering and its affiliated factories, including Darlington, constituted a single integrated employer group controlled by Milliken. Therefore, Deering was also liable for Darlington's actions. Alternatively, the board found that because Darlington was a part of Deering, Deering had violated the statute by closing part of its business for a discriminatory purpose. On appeal, the Fourth Circuit denied enforcement of the board's order. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.